Dr. Paul here, father of 10 children, pediatrician to over 10,000, and what I'm gonna teach you today is how to spank your children by not spanking your children. Now hear me out. Spare the rod, spoil the child. There was a time, I know some of you grew up that way and it worked for you, but I'm telling you for the most part, it's not effective. Now do your kids need boundaries and limits? Absolutely. I've only spanked one of my kids. I've got 10 of them, only spanked one, twice, both times, he's out of control, right? Basically taunting me. What are you gonna do about it? What are you gonna do about it? End up spanking him, totally ineffective. Second time, same result. About to happen a third time when I realized, hmm, he's out of control. And what he really needs is my love. Gave him a big old hug, told him it's gonna be all right. And you know what? He melted, started bawling. The other problem with spanking folks, and those of you who've tried it, you may have experienced this, Kids want our energy. So if you're giving them that energy, well, they're gonna get used to that. So you're gonna have to do what to get their attention? You're gonna spank harder. Then you gotta do what? You gotta spank harder. It escalates to the point where, honestly, you might actually be hurting your child, physically abusing them, and if not, you certainly could be accused of it. Another factor is to think about this. If you're showing your child that the way to handle a situation that's distressing is to use violence or physical force, then what are they gonna do as they grow up through life and they're faced with a, a situation where they don't know how to handle it and they're trying to exert their will as we do as parents, so they're gonna resort to force. We need to learn how to calm down in the, in the crisis situation. So you take a situation of crisis, you step back, you calm down, and maybe the other tip I would give you is discuss it later, not at that moment. You know, I always say you gotta talk about things, but you can't when you're all escalated. It's sort of like mom or dad, take a time out. Child, take a time out. Discuss the situation when everybody's calm and the heat of the moment is gone. You know, what kids hate the most is isolation. So if you've got a little one that's throwing a tantrum or throwing a fit, instead of bringing out the old spanking routine, put them calmly in isolation. Do not make any eye contact. Don't talk to them except to say, as soon as you're quiet, you can come out. And if you mean it and you enforce it, they will do exactly what you want because there's nothing more powerful than being ostracized. So, and they want your love, your energy, and your attention. So you have the most powerful weapon and it's in your love and attention. You can withhold that much more powerful than spanking. I'm Dr. Paul, thanks for watching. I hope that's helpful.